Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here is, I did some digging, I didn't actually wait around anymore. Of course, D83 actually did tell me where one of them was, luckily they knew, and then the rest of them I have to find out for my dang self. So here we go, and oh man, I should actually, did, okay, so I'm going to have to pause for the last one, but anyways, first things first is what happened with the robotic toys so i'm talking about the ones that i call narratives or i'm just gonna clear up on ones that i thought they were so this is like technically a retraction but anyways first things first is the robotic toys it turns out that the robotic toys that we saw that entered the auditorium came from toy terror batteries included which came from give me goosebumps give yourself goosebumps number 12 so that's where they came from thank you and of course, a special thanks also to Screen Rant, even though some of theirs was kind of like, um, what? But anyways, yeah, so next one is, we're going to talk about Murder the Clown. Even though I thought it was Slappy the Evil Clown, but hey, that was just most likely a throwaway gag that R.L. Stein said in his, that we had to do the Ice Bucket channel, Challenge, that's it. Yeah, he said Slappy the Evil Clown, so I was like, oh, so there's where he came from, but okay, whatever. His name is Murder the Clown. And Murder the Clown, which this was Screen Rant, said, when the ghost dog howls, he was there, even though I was like, so I did my digging. It turns out he came from a nightmare on Clown Street from Horrorland, Goosebumps Horrorland. This is a very new monster, a very new, in quotations, monster that they created and was from issue 13 he also showed up in issue 19 as well but issue 13 was his first one so it turns out that this one again they went with the cover and they didn't go with the real monster in this one there was a person called the frightener and he was the true monster in this book he was the true bad guy but anyways yeah so it turns out murder the clown came from uncle theo who is i forgot I think it was Ray. Idiot. Stupid girl. <laughs> so you have Ray and you have his Uncle Theo. So Uncle Theo went insane because Ray tried to take off his makeup and couldn't. So Uncle Theo most likely kind of tried. And then after that, oh, and he went insane. And that's why Murder the Clown was made. You can say that technically he is a monster. But on the other hand, I think technically... You would say Mr. Frankenstein and not Frankenstein's monster is the real monster, but whatever. Okay, next up is Professor Shock. So I thought it was Dr. Freak who had that weird, crazy hairstyle. So for people who cares about continuity and say, dude, please, please don't do it for me. Yes, that was Dr. Freak. Yes, it's Dr. Freak. For people who wants the truth, here we go. As for those who believe it's Dr. Freak, put your ears in your Put your hands in your ears and go la 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 la. The real true person that we saw that had the spiky hairdo and the sunglasses was Professor Shock. And he came from the creepy creations of Professor Shock. And he came from Give Me Give Yourself Goosebumps issue 14. Or number 14. And this is one of two where they didn't actually use the cover monster thumbs up thumbs up out of all the freaking monsters even though there's still more to cover to find out their identities this one actually is the one where they didn't even use the cover art to be like okay that's the monster because the cover art is actually of a robot a robot so they didn't use the cover art and it looks like he's just a inventor he made a remote that can control all machinery he made a pinball machine, or he owns one, and he also created a robot. This monster, in my opinion, is a minor level of monster. But on the other hand, I guess if they would have actually read the book, they might have just decided to go crazy nutso and just say, Hey, you know what? He's a nutso monster scientist or inventor, and he created a legion of robots because that's one of the endings that happen is that the fight the fact of it ended with a fight of humanity versus machines so there you go that would be a nice fro to well anyways next one is deep in the jungle of doom 
So for people, yet again, this is another one. This is like at least the third one that I have to freaking retract. So for people who wants to believe the voodoo guy, because I said the voodoo guy actually was the guy who did my shrunken head thing. So he came from that book. You can definitely just say he came from that and thumbs up and then put your ears, put your hands in your ears and go la 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 about what I'm going to say in three, two, one. So it turns out that he is a mug lanny witch doctor and he came from give yourself goosebumps issue slash book 11 again thumbs up this is the second time that they didn't actually use the cover art because the cover art actually was of a freakish swamp monster i'll say swamp monster or technically it's a fish man this can the good news is that this can be linked to the shrunken head this actually can because there's one ending of it where he cut off the heads of those two kids and turned them into shrunken heads. Another one is that he actually turned the kids into monkeys. So that is his power. I bet he could do more powers, but this is the only stuff that I could find in a book that was like, yep, that's his power. Last but not least, and this one I have to be right back in one quick second. All right, so I had to read it. So haunted car. It turns out this haunted car can actually speak to but we didn't see that in the movie. This haunted car actually is with a girl that died in it. So a girl died in the car and that's why it's haunted. Interesting. And she always told the people that ride her car or drive the car that she's evil. <laughs> uh, lots of crap happened. But anyways, this came from Goosebumps 2000 actually. Yep. Number 21 and the girl that actually is the ghost car such a haunted car is Marissa Medding Yep, Marissa Medding. So there you go. There is the mystery of some of the monsters and where they came from Again, I don't know where the freaking weird bugs came from and there were most likely there are so many other monsters that I didn't even get the name But at least you guys actually enjoyed it and now if maybe you want to run out and get those books and read them so anyways, thank you for watching and have a good, scary, happy Halloween.